Hey fellow SweetScript developers, Eric from Stoic Software here again today. And in this video, I'll be responding to a troubleshooting comment from uh, an effective SweetScript reader, Michael Moen. Uh, Michael's comment on the ESS mailing list was this. I've seen references to being able to search through logs with SweetScript. Being able to run global searches on logs would make my life a lot easier when it comes to troubleshooting. All right, so thank you, Michael. Uh, before we get started, you have the same opportunity as Michael does to get your questions answered by joining the Effective SweetScript mailing list. You will find a link uh, down at the top of the video description. All right, well, let's get started. Logging is probably the foremost debugging and troubleshooting tool we use as SweetScript developers. Um, when you use NetSuite's log module to write messages from your scripts, you are writing entries into the script execution log. Uh, these entries are then displayed on the execution logs subtab of the corresponding script or script deployment record that wrote the message. Now by default, the view on this subtab will show you all the log messages for this script that were created today. If we would like a different view, maybe a wider date range, uh, we can change up what shows up in the list by clicking on Customize View. So perhaps we want a view that shows all of the logs for the last seven days instead of just today. We set up the filter to show messages after the same day last week. Save that. Now we have past week showing up in our list of views. You can see I've also got one that's a two day view, a five day view. So we can, in this way, we can create multiple views that we can easily switch between uh, when we're viewing the logs for a particular script. Now, what if you want to see scripts or logs across all of your scripts or multiple scripts? We can also create saved searches for execution logs. And we do so by creating a new saved search. for the server script log search type. Now from here, we can use all of our normal saved search capabilities that we would use on any other record type to create the execution log results that we want. Um, you can additionally create these same uh, saved searches for logs via SweetScript by using the script execution log record type. Now these features can help us greatly in our troubleshooting efforts, but they have some significant limitations. So first, in order to navigate to the correct script and pull up its execution logs tab, you need to know already which script is causing the problem. And that is often not the case when we're troubleshooting. Um, Sometimes there are a lot of steps ahead of time where just to identify which script is causing the problem. Now second, and more importantly, these script logs that show up on the script record get purged regularly, automatically, and silently uh, by NetSuite. According to the NetSuite help, script execution logs are governed by a total storage limit on each instance of the NetSuite database. That means on each NetSuite server, if the database table that stores logs reaches this limit, all logs across all customers on that server are purged. If NetSuite automatically purges your server's log database the day after you receive that show-stopping error, then you are completely out of luck. All your log messages are gone and you have no control over when that purge happens. 
So to help alleviate that pretty significant problem, uh, in 2016, NetSuite introduced a new script execution logs page, which you can find under customization, scripting, script execution logs. Now this page lets us quickly filter and find script logs across all scripts in our account. You can filter by the log level, uh, by the date, and even down to once I do find which script is causing the problem, then I can filter by a specific script. Now the logs on this page are the same ones written by your own scripts, but NetSuite stores these in their own separate repository. So this repository contains logs from your account only, rather than being shared by all of the other customers on your server. And the messages in this separate repository are purged after 30 days. So each of your log messages is guaranteed to stay in this repository for 30 days. Um, so you can always look back to see all of your log messages for basically the past month. That's it for this lesson. I would like to thank Michael Moen for inspiring this topic with his comment. If you liked what you saw in this video, hit that thumbs up button. Go share what you learned with somebody else. Click subscribe to stay tuned to all my videos and become a competent, confident NetSuite developer. Um, thanks for watching. Keep learning, keep sharing, and I'll see you next time.